So uh, let's talk about this first card here, the energy that you bring to the table. We have the death card. And the death card as a major arcana card, it signifies some major, major transformation in your relationships where the two of you, uh, you and a partner, are moving on to a phase that looks a lot more stable, a lot more grounded, and a lot more, I want to say, even a better space, okay? Leaving the past baggage behind, the arguments, the fights, the lack of a, a sense of direction, or even consensus as to where the relationship is headed, what we're meant to do. For some of you, you might very well be single for um, the month or even the week, and you have, you know, kind of weaned away from unhealthy relationships, or you have weaned away from... Um, possibly relationship partners that might not have served you. So I feel like many of you are coming into this week uh, with a renewed sense of purpose. And I keep seeing there's a lot of movement here with this card. And it signifies to me, you know, no longer being naive about love and no longer uh, feeling like, okay, as long as, you know, we love each other, it's enough. I feel like many of you are taking into account the practical considerations of a love relationship. So with the emperor, this might be the person that you're dealing with, okay? This is somebody, male or female, who is uh, very, very settled in their career. They could be a leader, they could generate a lot of money, they have status and position, and a lot of people look up to them, so they are a leader in their field. A lot of the times, this is somebody who's very, very um, appearance conscious, reputation conscious, professionally, they're, they're conscious about how they are seen by the world, they're conscious about the things that they do, and on the negative side, they can be very, very fixed and very, very stubborn in their ways. However, they always try to do the right thing. They always try to, you know, um, walk the higher path of wisdom and truth. For many of you, um, this new change that is happening in your life could pertain to this person. And I feel as if it's... Um, signaling to me you taking charge of your relationship so like i said earlier that sense of naivety regarding you know as long as we love each other the career doesn't matter the money doesn't matter the practical considerations doesn't matter we're going to rough it out but coming into this week there's a renewed sense of maturity when it comes to relationship treating relationships um, prioritizing relationship, treating it like something that you can be proud of, that you have to nurture, that it's delicate and fragile, and you have to treat it with kitty gloves, okay? So it's, it's like prioritizing your relationship and taking charge and taking ownership. And um, I want to say like moving the uh, relationship in the direction that you'd hope. And so what comes out next here is the Eight of Cups. And with this Eight of Cups, this is sailing over troubled waters, figuring out what works and what doesn't so we can, you know, move forward with what is really working us to really uplift us rather than being weighed down by the things that are not working. So you're entering a new phase in your relationship where if you both have been fighting or if there has been power, dominance issues and, you know, uh, things like that. I feel like you're taking the higher road. You're taking like the, um, you're reaching a space of moral, like the, the moral high ground. And there's no more bickering. There's like smooth sailing forward. And there's a lot of movement ahead. Okay. Um, for some of you, we have here the Six of Cups. This is reconnecting with old friends and old lovers and even a friend that can turn into a romantic uh, partner. I feel like there will be messages. This is a blast from the past type of a card. Messages, communications from exes that you have moved away from and because you're consciously making some really positive shifts in your life that are highly divinely guided, I feel like many of you are coming into this space where the past is reaching out to you. Whether you choose to re-engage, I feel like either way is making you quite happy. It's making you feel very appreciated and I feel like there's going to be some type of a uh, emotional gesture coming in from a person from your past and they're going to express how pleased they are with you or how they want to reconnect and how they want to reach out okay so whether or not you choose to do that that is up to you for some of you I feel almost like 
you're opening yourself up emotionally for this week. You're dealing with somebody that um, they, they seem really independent. They seem very um, stoic, self-possessed and, you know, self-sufficient. But the stance that they're taking is they might tell you, you know, I, I need some help. I need you to be there. I need you to be my pillar of strength. So I feel like for some of you in relationships, you might play more of that emotional nurturing energy, or you might be the problem solver for your relationship partner. For others of you, if things have been very, very difficult, your partner is stepping up and exhibiting the energy of the emperor where they are problem shooting for you. Um, they're problem solving for you, troubleshooting for you, and they're taking control of the relationship. And they're also going to, you know, do a lot of things behind the scenes to advise you, to help you, to make the situation a lot smoother for you. So either way, I feel this uh, solidification of a relationship commitment. For those of you who are single, I definitely see a very, very strong person in your midst that you might have... Um, uh, feelings for and it shows up here as the emperor so I have you know Scorpio uh, Aries types of energy and um, there's a lot of fire so like the other cards are very muted but this card there's a lot of passion fire drive ambition you are interested in somebody and you know naturally you're drawn to people like this people who are honest truthful straight laced but underneath it they have a lot of drive a lot of personal ambition they want to get things um you know moving for themselves and there's a self-starter so this is somebody who's very very prominent in your midst and i feel like there's going to be communication that will really uh bring to light what they're feeling about you how they feel about you and things like that that will make you feel quite um flattered and quite happy so good for you, Capricorns. Um, in other areas of your life, uh, the first card that jumped out here, we have the Emperor showing up twice in two different decks. So this is your energy then. It is showing up here as taking care of practical responsibilities, having to, you know, say no to certain people that are coming to you and having to uh, ask follow up questions. So I feel as if some people might be coming to you with work responsibilities and they don't know how to do things. They're coming to you with something um, like, I don't know how to do this. Can you help me do that? And the danger of that is, you know, um, you can teach somebody and that will teach them to be self-sufficient so they never have to come to you again. Or you can do it for them. And I feel like this is the card where people are coming to you to pick your brain, to ask you for advice, to ask you for your to share your skills and your expertise. And I believe I mentioned about two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, um, hold things close to your chest. Don't reveal your plans. Don't get too chummy with coworkers because I feel there is this um, prying energy. It's almost like they're not really there for your interest. They're trying to figure out what you're planning to do. Uh, they're trying to figure out, like, you know, how would you solve this problem to kind of steal your ideas? And I'm getting the same type of energy here where it's really telling you hold things very, very close to your chest. Assess a situation really carefully before you um, give yourself away. OK, so whoever is coming at you, especially at work or even family members, and if they have a history of, you know, being very self-serving or if they have hidden agendas, you really want to look at body language, look at their gestures and try to, you know, uh, assess if this is something that you need to help them with or if this is something they can do on their own. So I feel like your energy is going to be very concentrated towards self-improvement, towards relationship sectors as well. And so you don't want to, you know, allow the, the extra energy to dissipate to, I want to say, 
waste your energy or waste it on people who don't want to do things on the, the, by themselves and they expect you to kind of you know solve all of their problems so in the love relationship you're taking a huge stance you're stepping up and you're solidifying your relationships in the work environment as well I feel like you're gonna need to exercise some type of a loving detachment so that all the these people coming at you don't uh, wear out or don't you know um, corrode your energy level okay so I, I feel like it's going to be a busy week where you're being called upon as um, as a consultant you're being called upon to help a lot of people with their issues to help a lot of people as well to give them you know concrete ideas concrete plans and so you're in a position where you are in very very high demand so be discriminate about what you're sharing with other people you're also very visible and a lot of people look up to you so make sure that you know I don't need to tell you guys this because you know you guys are very solid and sturdy but um, if there people are coming to you and you know like for mentorship for example and they're like this I don't know what to do my life is you know in disarray can you help me fix it um, I feel like it's really critical for you to think about whether or not that's appropriate. So if it's a coworker and their life's in disarray, their personal life's in disarray, I don't feel that it's appropriate for you to, you know, um, get too involved in their personal lives. You can give them general advice, but I would say um, drawing boundaries and telling them, you know, um, I'm going to, def you should defer to your psychiatrist, your therapist to help you with that. I can only give you, you know, professional advice. So learning to draw boundaries and learning to be firm with some people. On the financial front with the Four of Pentacles, this is a card um, about, you know, holding tight to your money, um, building up that savings account, not spending like there's no tomorrow. So for, for some of you on the um, younger age spectrum, if you are in a job where you're starting to make a lot of money, just be careful about spending, buying gadgets, buying, you know, cars, buying um, sound system and, and buying things that you don't need because I feel like you need to start saving up for a rainy day. OK, so just because the money is rolling in, just be very careful about where you're giving your resources and how you're spending your money, because uh, there is this universal law about money, money that comes in fast will leave your hands very, very fast. So this is a good time for you to think about savings, even if you're very, very young and you don't think about retirement. But what I have here is a major escalation. So that means it's a good time for you to set aside some money and really, you know, try to invest it or try to put it aside for a rainy day or try to start putting it in an account so that you can plan your retirement. OK, this is just a practical thing that's coming in because I feel like some of you are money is leaving your hands or um, sliding through your fingers really, really quickly. So you just want to be careful about that. OK, um, good week overall, um, Capricorn. So just, you know, focus on the relationship sector. I feel like things are good in the um work front I'm sensing that you know there's um solicitations as well for going out and things like that but it's at your discretion whether or not you want to you know mix business with pleasure or whether or not you want to let people close to you get let people get too close to you I feel like there's a need here to maintain clear boundaries especially with co-workers okay so um, I wish you all the best take care bye bye